The Berkeley Nanolab is what's known as a core facility. These exist at many universities across the country, and a core facility is a shared laboratory used by researchers from across campus. Nanotechnology simply means we're manipulating things at a very small scale. Nanotechnology is in everything you touch today. It's in the airbag sensor in your car. It's in your home COVID test. The lab is a complex facility and it needs to be monitored. And the monitoring is done with a custom developed lab management system. Acting as the database product that the lab has used, whether it's tracking who's in the lab, whether it's tracking who has access to the lab, whether it's tracking our inventory of chemicals, whether it's tracking the utility systems, all of that is collecting and analyzing data. And to do that, you need a reliable and stable database. I worked at UC for 30 years. I managed the lab for 27. I bought 150 different equipment and those had to be controlled. If we didn't have this software and we didn't have reliable data, then, then the whole thing would have collapsed. We store data about uh, members and equipment. Equipment in the lab is actually complicated. You cannot just walk to it and use it. So uh, members have to be trained on that equipment and then qualified and we use our Actin uh, database to track that information. You cannot do uh, things we do with um, any other technology. If you suggest you can do it with spreadsheets or some other tools, no, you cannot do that. What I like about Actin is I just install it, start it, and it runs. I rely on the data to track where I am on literally a daily basis because we have so many features we can capture where we are in real time, how many members are active that are using our facilities, which facilities they're using, but then also budget to forecast where we're going. Having a system that is so robust and backed by Actian really makes me feel in control.